22 Craziest Modified Cars But first, thanks for leaving us this comment on our Unusual Pets video. Let us know which car mod you think is the strangest and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 22, Willy Wonka Mobile. If Willy Wonka tried to trick out his ride, we'd imagine it looks something like this. With the purple chrome paint and those rims, you know he'd be riding in style. It looks like he'll have enough room in the back seat to fit five or six Oompa Loopas. He might want to consider getting a ladder though. Number 21, the hybrid car. Looks like Dr. Frankenstein had a few ideas when it came to creating a car. It only seems like a matter of time before this guy hits a speed bump and the entire car falls apart. He better hope that's some sturdy glue he's using. Number 20, COD Fanatic. Some people like Call of Duty just a tad too much. This guy decided to show off his love for his favorite video game by getting his car modified with the Call of Duty logo. He better hope the guy he was trolling during the online match doesn't recognize him and brings out the real guns. Number 19, Volkswagen Baja Bug. When you want to go off-roading, you normally think to yourself a Jeep or a Land Rover would be a good way to go, but not the Baja Bug. But why not? This VW is modified to let you take on some sandy terrain, which makes some good dune buggies with the proper tires. This car mod originated in Southern California during the 1960s. With the proper tires, you can do some serious work. Number 18, Low Rider Jeep. Now here's a Jeep that you definitely wouldn't want to go off-roading with. The low riders are more commonly seen with sedans and not SUVs, making this ride pretty unique. But normally, if you get a Jeep, you do so with the intention to hit the dirt trails from time to time, so it doesn't make too much sense. Number 17, Japanese Mod Car. This modified car comes from nowhere else but Japan, and it's sure to raise some eyebrows. With the bright green paint job and the wedge underneath, you have to ask yourself who thought of this and why. It's believed to be some kind of racing car, and the wedge might help add to its aerodynamics. This might be a tad weird, but it might not be as weird as some other things you see in Japan. Number 16, the Spider Car. If Batman has his own car, you have to wonder what Spider-Man's might look like. This car's spidey senses are tingling. The owner of this car got a pretty dope paint job representing Spider-Man and making it look like he's wearing a mask. If the cops pull this guy over, he just wants to get a closer look at that paint job. Number 15, Chrome Audi R8 Spider. In case you didn't think the Audi R8 Spider was cool enough on its own, check out what this lucky owner did with his whip. Each time he walks up to his car, he can see himself smiling in it. The shiny chrome paint job wasn't the only thing this guy did. He added a sweet spoiler to add a little extra traction while he's cruising down the streets. You gotta wonder if you'll be able to beat that plane in the background in a race. Number 14, too much exhaust. Adding a cool exhaust pipe to your car might be a good modification to go with, but this photo here just seems a tad excessive. Think about all the carbon emissions this guy must be letting off. We don't know the exact reason for this, but beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Number 13, Bike Mobile. Is that a car? A motorcycle? Both? It really does look like both. It seems a little too big for it to get the advantages of a motorcycle, and you really have to wonder what kind of speed this thing can pick up, and if it's a little bit more eco-friendly. Number 12, Cinderella Carriage. If the story of Cinderella happened in modern times, you'd have to imagine her car looking something like this. Every girl dreams of having a car that will make them feel like a princess. You'd have to imagine that that's what this modification is all about. Looks like they took the front of a PT Cruiser and attached it to a horse carriage. Number 11, the Rage Rover. This car looks like it's been running over people all day long. A hit and run is no joke, and this person needs their license removed immediately. It appears as though this car was modified to look like it created a bloody roadkill mess and has a paint job to match. Hopefully, he won't have to explain over and over again to the police that it's just a paint job and not the evidence to some horrific crime scene. Number 10, Hot Rod Hearse. Who knew a hearse could be so stylish? Normally, if you see one drive by, you might feel sad or uneasy, but whoever decided to make this one here clearly has a sense of style and don't want people to feel that way. With the purple paint job and the high power engine, people will be hoping their funeral will come as soon as possible. Number 9, Modified Civic. Have you ever seen a Civic with some butterfly doors? Stunting is clearly a habit for whoever owns this whip. People have been known to modify Civics to make them into finely tuned racing machines. You know if they got the money to pimp out this Honda, they got a pretty sweet engine under the hood. Hopefully, you won't be racing this guy for pink slips. Number 8, the Bat Truck. You probably wouldn't want to see this thing tailgating you on the freeway. 
If you go too slow, this thing will simply drive over you and not wait for you to speed up. If this is Batman's new car, he needs to consider making his Batcave just a little bit bigger to accommodate this beast. Number 7. The Clown Car Mod If you see this car coming at you, run as fast as you possibly can and don't look back. You never know how many clowns might be in one vehicle and what their intentions are. While it might be colorful and jolly looking and there probably is some candy inside, just be sure to stay as far away as possible. Just one second of hesitation could be your last wrong decision you ever make. Number 6. Zombie Bus with barbed wire and mounted guns around the windows, this bus here could be a rolling vehicle of destruction. Don't forget about the plow connected to the front of the car to help plow through the waves of the undead. Hopefully this bus will have enough fuel to make it out of the apocalypse. Number 5. Wooden Luxury also known as Splinter by the designer Joe Harmon, this is the world's first wooden supercar. You might remember making those wooden toy cars back in Boy Scouts, but he takes that idea to a whole new level with this car. He claims that the wood adds to the car's durability and performance in different ways. Since wood was used in a variety of ways, it relies on glue to keep it together. Miraculously, it can reach speeds of 240 miles per hour, but it's also highly flammable, not making it the best choice out there. Still a cool concept nonetheless. Number 4. The Chrome Benz This Chrome Benz here from Kuwait was found parked outside of the Dorchester Hotel in London, and it's looking pretty sleek. This is believed to be a Mercedes SLR McLaren 722, and with the proper mods, it's expected to cost about $480,000. These are popular exotic cars among the wealthy oil-rich countries in the Middle East. Number 3. Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG This SUV is normally a force to reckon with with only 4 wheels, but when you modify it to have 6 wheels, you have yourself one horrific beast of German engineering. This thing delivers 850 horsepower and 900 pounds of torque. You can probably imagine this thing does some good off-roading as well. Number 2. Flying Spur Bentley Car enthusiasts might have slightly wet their pants when the new Flying Spur Bentley was on display in Geneva, Switzerland in 2016. The new modifications such as the W12 engine, the beautiful white and gold coloring, as well as the beautiful interior make this car one of a kind. The horsepower can reach 775. It's able to reach 100 kilometers per hour in only 4 seconds. And number 1. The Lexus Heartbeat the Lexus Heartbeat is possibly the most insane modified vehicle out there. Not only does it glow in the dark, it pulses when your heart beats. This allows other drivers to see how thrilled or nervous you are to drive this. The electro-luminescent paint is one of a kind and gives a connection between the driver and automobile like never before. This will certainly make it interesting to watch during some kind of night race. Any suggestions on future videos? Leave us your idea in the comments section and maybe we'll feature it in an upcoming video.